introduction. Welcome, Josh Allen, to the show, Josh. Hey, oh, wait, 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 wait. Before all this, before all this, hey, I need you and Shady to get this handshake thing <laughs> under control. Can I get a two shot of Shady and Josh? Can we see the handshake? On, can we, bro. you know what I'm saying? Can y'all, can I see? I don't want to see me thank don't you. Don't embarrass me. Are you ready? Do you, wait, do you even remember? For what? Our hand, our hand. Which one are we? The handshake. No, you can't show it yet. Oh, you can't show it yet. Oh, you oh. can't show it. I need them to execute it in real time. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> he forget. Oh, oh, oh. No, you oh. forgot. Can you see that? We were yeah, supposed to wait. <laughs> we were supposed to wait. We wait for the time, and then we do this, and we, ah. Oh. And then, yeah, then we do it. No, Shady, Shady is the one that got me in the handshake game. That's uh, all credit to him. He is. <laughs> on, on this show, not even on this show, everywhere. I'm always pumping Josh Allen. I don't care what's being this said. This is true. Am I lying? This is no, true. I'm pumping my boy day one. But I, I, I got to get him my own shout out. When he was a rookie, yeah. right, from Wyoming. I don't even know where that's even at. Laramie, shout out Laramie. Right? I said, when I seen him play, I was like, yo. I remember Good calling everybody on my phone like, bro, we got a superstar. Mm -hmm. My first interview from your first person, I said, this dude is going to be electrifying, one of the best in the league. Was I right? Was I right? <laughs> <laughs> he, you, you called me franchise from like day one. You did. That's before the hundred million dollars. Shady knew. <laughs> Shady knew. <laughs> uh, um, Josh, let's talk about the season for a second, man. A lot of highs, a lot of lows, but ultimately y'all started to rattle them off at the end of the season. Win, 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 win. What switch flipped for you? Like, what was it in your mind? What was the moment that you said, you know what? Hey, it's time to get right. Take me to that moment in your head in the locker room, wherever it was. Yeah, I don't know if you could boil it down to one exact moment, but, um, you know, we felt that if we rallied around each other and, and started playing for each other and doing things the right way, you know, that was going to lead to success. And sitting six and six at the bye week, you know, told everybody, go get away, clear your mind. When we come back, we got work to do, and we're going to go do this thing. And um, found a way to claw and scratch our way back into the two seed, won the division, and... You know, we're, we're a couple plays away from uh, singing a different tune, and I, I wish I wasn't talking to you guys right now. I wish I sure. talked to you media day the other day. Um, <laughs> but you know, we're gonna keep working. We're gonna keep working till we get till we get to where we need to get to. Franchise. Let me ask you this: You guys get so close, and I've been in that building in Buffalo where Sean McDermott is a hell of a coach. He's changed that franchise forever. What do you think it it's going to take you guys to get to that next level, to get to the Super Bowl? Yeah, I don't think it's some Herculean effort by any any one specific person. Um, it's playing better together. It's doing the simple the better. And uh, ultimately, it comes down to one or two plays at the end of the season during these uh, you know playoff games that we need to hit on. And we, we just haven't been able to do that last couple of years. And it takes a, a deep dive and a, a, a look in the mirror and understanding what do I need to do to be better for this Buffalo Bills organization. And, you know, that's what we're doing right now. You know, I look at you like a, like a brother, man. So I want to ask you a serious question. <clears throat> I ran into Stephon Diggs' brother probably like last last week. We were just talking about football, and and I was telling him that uh, there's all a lot of speculation about what's going to happen, et cetera. And I said, listen, man, one thing about this sport we take it for granted. Before Josh Allen had a Stephon Diggs, he was a great player, but he wasn't at this level. And before Stephon Diggs had a Josh Allen, he was a good player. He wasn't on that special elite level. My thing is, do you ever wonder or worry that? it may be the end of that rule for you guys, or you just kind of don't think about it at all? Yeah, I don't, I don't really think about that. Um, one thing I do think about, though, is how much, like you said, we've complimented each other over the last few years, and we've done some really special things in Buffalo. And, uh, you know, I still feel like there's there's still work to do, and there's still a lot of special um, things that we can accomplish in front of us. Um, but I'm not a fortune teller. I can't tell you anything. But I love the guy. I love him to death. I love him like a brother. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm hopeful that we can, uh, we can figure it out and, and do some more special things moving forward. Yeah. Josh, Khalil Shakir had a really great stretch for you guys in a, a coming out year. Yes, he did. Talk to us about him and, and the connection that you guys had. Yeah, Khalil, he's a young, young cat that wasn't asked to do a whole lot for us early on in the season. But this kid is the epitome of hard work. He's always in the right spot. If you watch him, in a run play, he's finding himself around the ball, following the ball just in case, you know, there's a fumble. He's there to pick it up. He is he is cut from the cloth of how to play football the right way. And I hope that, you know, young kids and, and guys in college can look at him and what he's done and just study what he does. He's he's fantastic. He, he finds windows and zones, um, but he just plays football the right way. And when when you have a guy that does that, success is going to find him.
Josh, I played with some great quarterbacks in Brett Favre and Aaron Rodgers, and he loves whenever Aaron. they had to compete against Tom Brady, uh, Peyton Manning, they were different dudes. At practice, the football is coming out harder. Pause, like Shady say, the football coming Ooh. out off their fingertips faster. Like, you knew it was just a different game because of who they were going to play. Brock Purdy is about to play Patrick Mahomes, a guy that you compete against a lot. Mindset-wise, when you're playing Patrick Mahomes, does that kind of change the way Josh Allen plays because you know Patrick Mahomes is on the other side of the field? Um, yes and no. I mean, I, I think, again, we get so caught up in this quarterback versus quarterback, you know, controversy, and I'm not, I'm not really playing him. I'm playing that defense. I'm playing that defensive coordinator. I like that. Um, but I think the main thing about that is not to scoreboard watch. You know, they may they may, mm -hmm. you know, get up early. Um, don't don't try to press. Don't try to do anything too crazy. Uh, just keep keep within the confines of the offense and, and try to make plays there. And you can't you can't make up 14 or 20 points back up in one play. But uh, it's got to be methodical, and you just got to keep sticking with it. Josh, I want you to look in the mirror for a second when you answer this question, because Shady and I have this conversation. Shady says Josh Allen's the most talented quarterback physically uh, in football. I'm like, yo, I can't lie to you, bro. Do about 6'4 and a half, 6'5, 240, can run, can throw. Every throw. But every now and then, you play up to your competition, always. But then sometimes you play down to your competition. Do you believe you have the curse of the gifted, where you're so good, you're so talented, you're so good, that you know if at any point in time you want to turn it on, you can do whatever you want to do out there. Talk to me about how when it's time for you to go, you can go. But sometimes when you play people that are obviously beneath you, you don't go. Look in the mirror and just assess that in real time for us. Yeah, I mean, I think... Uh... You know, I do feel like I play my best when I'm playing the best. Um, but I also feel like we get everybody's best shot. You know, it's hard to win this league. There's the other teams, they're getting paid just as much as, as our guys are. Um, you know, and it's it's no easy feat to continue to win and, and win con consistently in this league. So I'm just fortunate enough that I ended up in Buffalo and got a good good coach, a good GM that have set the direction in, in the right, right way. Um, you know, and I'm just trying to be the best quarterback that I can be no matter who I'm playing against. Now, I know you say you hate the comparisons from the quarterbacks, but that's what this league is, right? Yeah. They all get paid all that money to compare quarterbacks. Yeah. And real quick, you talked about uh, Aaron well, Rodgers. That's my dog. When, listen, when I first got here, he was doing that Aaron Rodgers little yeah. throw. <laughs> you remember that? I was like, why you keep doing that? <laughs> anyway, how, special. how do you feel about, like, the, the new day and age comparisons from the Peyton Mannings, right, to the Tom Brady's, now it's to Patrick Mahomes, to the Josh Allen? How do you feel when they compare you guys? of the rivalry? Um, I mean, to be in the same breath as some of these guys, again, it's surreal. Shady, I mean, you know me. I was I was in junior college before I got to, to University of Wyoming, which that's true. you don't even know where that's at. So <laughs> um, I'm just... <laughs> I'm just enjoying. I'm just enjoying playing football, man. I love this game. I love. I love the camaraderie that it brings, the brotherhood that it brings, um, and ho I'm just hoping to play as long as I can. And uh, it, above all, just trying to win a Super Bowl for Buffalo. Josh, I really want to thank you for saying that about comparing the quarterbacks <laughs> against quarterbacks because I argue that, that all the show all the time. So I will be quoting you for eternity. You are playing the defense on the other side of the ball, but obviously we can't put the whole defense on the billboard, so we're going to keep saying quarterback versus quarterback. But I'm also all talking a lot about rushing quarterbacks and how we talk about multi-dimensional quarterbacks. You are someone who runs the ball a lot. Admittedly, you make me nervous sometimes because you're, you're big and you try to run people over. <laughs> I'm like, Josh, get down and get out of bounds. But how do you assess the way that the game is going at the quarterback position? Because you are someone who runs the ball a lot. Lamar Jackson, obviously, is a great running quarterback. Patrick Mahomes isn't someone that we necessarily call a dual-threat quarterback, but obviously uses his legs. Has the entire game shifted to you where that, that part of the game is something we need to acknowledge more? I mean, I think that's the direction that it's eventually going to be going in. Um, I think especially what defenses are doing nowadays, they're, they're playing too high, the quarter shell. Mm. They're forcing guys to run the ball, and sometimes offensive coordinators want to keep, keep throwing it. And uh, when the guys are covered, everybody's eyes are on, on somebody else, and you got to be able to extend plays and, and move the sticks with your feet sometimes. And I think that you, get, you're, you have to have a little bit of that element in your game um, to be successful in this league, especially – going forward uh, into the future. Josh, there's a lot of eyes on the quarterback position, but really one quarterback, and that is Brock Purdy. Some people got him in the elite conversation. Some people got him as a game manager. He's in getting MVP votes. 
What are your thoughts as a football player, as a quarterback that mm. plays the position? Mm. What are your thoughts on Brock Purdy question. and Great what question. type of quarterback is Don't he? Don't lie to opinion? us. Don't lie to us, Josh. Uh, Don't lie to us. I think that he, within the confines of his offense, he does more Common than what he's offense. asked to do. He makes plays outside of the structure. Uh, you go back to last, I mean, he's made some unbelievable plays with his feet and being able to extend some plays. We all know that he's got a great roster, all right? That, 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 but that doesn't change the fact that there's been other quarterbacks there that have had the same roster, if not mm. better roster, and they, they haven't gotten to do what he's done. So he's doing the right things for his team. He's in the Super Bowl. He doesn't make the mistakes. Um, and he's, like I said, he's playing on Super Bowl Sunday. He's in the graphic right there. I don't know how you can knock on him. Um, He's, he's doing whatever you ask of him as quarterback to do. This is my last question. So when I went to the, the Chiefs in 2019, um, I met Pat, right? We talked on the phone, but I met him in person. And the first thing he asked me was about Josh Allen. Mm -hmm. He did. Yeah. And he was like, how, you know, he's talented, this and that third. And he asked me about his arm, mm -hmm. right? And I said to him, well, you know, you know how I am. I said, well, dang, bro. You think you can throw farther than Josh Allen? When I said that, he looked at me and smiled. He said, it's a lose-lose for me. I want to ask you, though, who has the best and biggest arm in the NFL? Mm. And don't be shy. Now? Yeah, you know who's today. got a sneaky, sneaky big arm? Sneaky big arm is Bake. Baker Mayfield's got a cannon, and I don't mm. think he gets enough credit for it. I'm telling I'm serious. Talk that talk. He, he can actually talk, chuck the ball. Hey. Talk that talk. Hey, I'm you serious. Want to know what you want to take his question back now. you want to take his question back I know this dude. I know this dude. Hold up. I know this dude. Stafford's got a big arm. Bake's got a big arm. Bake, I've got Baker a big arm. Big Pat's arm. got a big arm. Um, <laughs> I mean, there, there's there's a lot of talented guys in this league. I think Anthony Richardson though might might have the biggest one. Ooh. We'll see. Yeah. He just talked. He talked arm strength. Yeah. Did he say Baker? Maybe yeah, Baker got yeah. a cannon, bro. You no, know, Pat Mahomes Baker's, never said anything about Baker. Cannon. Baker got a cannon, bro. <laughs> Patrick Mahomes said Josh Allen, and he's telling me I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> Baker got a cannon. Uh, when I call you later, we gonna talk. <laughs> hey, hey, Josh, I didn't hear no Herbert in there. I didn't hear no Ooh. Herbert. Herbert, Herbert, he's Herbert's got uh, as the Twitter accounts always post. He's got the launch mm. codes, whatever that means. But he's got a, he's got a how it's <laughs> as well. Can, well, how about this? Before can, can we get at least your top five quarterbacks? Oh. <laughs> Arm strength, I just gave him to you. You gave your arm strength. No, that's, top, that's your best quarterbacks right now. Top five best quarterbacks. Put you on the spot. Um, Don't be mad at me. All, all time, we got Tom Brady. No, 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 <laughs> hey, Josh, before we let you go, um, obviously you are here promoting and working with a, a Subway. So tell me about what you got going with Subway, big dog. Yes, you know, we're, we're out here promoting Subway and their three new products. They got the uh, footlong cookie, which is a hot commodity right Ooh. now. Mm. They got their Annie Ann's footlong pretzel and their mm. Cinnabon footlong churro. Mm. So uh, go to your local Subway and, and they're fantastic. I've been eating them all day. Um, I'm trying to stay on a diet. It's not, not helping me, so uh, Can I, I got to get out of here Which soon. one is best? Because they all sound great. I, I like the, I'm a chocolate chip guy. So anything chocolate chip cookies, um, count me in. That man loves some chocolate. False. <laughs> <laughs> Josh, appreciate you, bro. Appreciate you, family. <laughs> some things never change. I apologize Love you, Shady. for Shady. All right. <laughs> I'll let you, Josh. Two five two live. All right. Love you all. <laughs> all right, bro. Bye. Subscribe here to get the latest from Speak, and go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.